Welcome, questlings, to the land of Mortara, and the story of a group of adventurers who journey through this world of unstable magic, undiscovered secrets, and unending adventure. Follow us on our grand quests for peace, love, battle, riches, and prestige. Last time on Mortera. The whole fucking place starts to shake and, and shiver. Oh. And you hear this voice as the the like pocket blinks, like clo- oh. like closes and opens again. Oh, and it's shit. like yeah, and you hear like a no, 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 no. I, uh, yeah, what? goes there? Nobody, nobody at all. Nobody. I just want my eye back and it shakes. Ah, it it, bring me my eye. I think it's probably most imperative that we put the diamond back. But he might uh, die before we find him. The cat senses go off. You see a chest. And the second you touch it, so you take 14 damage and immediately go unconscious. So like, you all just see Vestrin touch it. And it opens up and its tongue lashes out around her wrist and it bites her, like, on, like, part of her head and her arm. And she just goes limp. Shit! I'm gonna get a drink before I start crying. You're fucking biting. Alright, who's uh, at the top of the round? Who goes? I need okay. What yeah. is... Can, can I get it off of her somehow? Um, it's up to you if you if you want to come and try to rip it off. You saw the but, second that she touched it, it went around. Yeah, it, so. like, it was sticky and all that. So. But, like, it's not like a... This is what I get. You can attack it. The irony of the fucking sneak thing. You just fucking lose your hand. Fucking mimics, huh? I'll just try to freeze it and we'll deal with it later. Okay, yeah, yeah, give me a uh, uh, red frost. Three. Three damage. Oh, three. Three. Three damage to the motherfucker. What's that? This is also what? Children Funkin, or something like that? So we, we pull out and we see Funkin just no. hanging out. Oh, the mimic, sorry. They have, they're this oh, its speed is reduced by 10 feet. I definitely <laughs> oh, well, went out screaming, but I got you. <laughs> okay, uh, so, uh, I, like, I hate to say this, Vestrin, but you're, like, you're getting close to, to, like, to actual real death here. Uh, because it is wrapped around you, it is just going to chomp on your dead body. Um, so what this means is it is going to... It, it will make an attack at you with advantage. No. The grapple has disappeared. I right? use my fucking uh, inspiration already like an idiot. Like an idiot, like a fool, like a damn fool! It's okay. Uh, so, so I'm this dead, is the, let's get real for a second. Vestrin is unconscious. The way death saving throws work, you get three successes, you come back to life. You get three failures, your character dies forever. Uh, the chest is going to make an attack with advantage against you. If it hits you, it's an automatic critical hit, which means you suffer two failed death saving throws immediately. So I'm going to make two attacks against you. You have AC 13? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it, it has a, a plus five. So I'm not, I'm not going to fuck you. Depending on, on how this goes, you, are, you will immediately right suffer. And two death real quick, you're going to need a medicine check. You're not going to die immediately. Yeah. You're going to need your friends. Uh, so I got a natural Four. seven and a natural eight. <laughs> You need an eight. Which is exactly a hit, like barely, even with advantage. Uh, so it continues to chew on Vestrin's body. Uh, you have two failed death saving throws. If you have one more, you die forever and you make a new character. Yeah? Okay, who's next? Alright, we zoom Funkin. out and see Funkin outside the wall, doesn't really know what's going on. I might actually cry. Uh, I'm really trying to... to... Uh, you got all your spells, no, man. You, you, yeah. You've been hearing screams and stuff like yeah, that. Dude, yeah, dude, like, yeah. this, the second all this shit pops off, of you hear people trip. like, ah, and you hear just, like, chomping and bone and... Well, I'm just trying to figure out how far I can go, because I know I'm going to run in. Oh, yeah. You so you are... Everyone Everyone is five feet within there. Vestrin is, like, ten feet away. You are probably 15 feet away from Vestrin. Yeah. Uh, you can do an action. Yeah. Sure, you, can, you, can, you can touch her. Well, my yeah. first question is do you walk inside once yeah. you hear screaming? Yeah. So you take five feet in, you walk through the wall, 
and you see a chest with teeth and eyes chewing on the dead body of Vestrin that is like being mashed. Yeah, yeah, don't, 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 don't. She's not dead yet. <laughs> she's <laughs> o- she's <laughs> only <laughs> mostly <laughs> dead. I'm a fucking cat. I'm going to die a cat. I didn't even live on my fucking purpose. Oh. You, you, you see the mostly this dead body of Vestrin being chewed on. What is okay. your decision? we got a whole round before it's up its turn. Just, just oh. run in well, tap of your life. We've got Vestrin's turn where she makes it. Can you spare the dime? Or do I have to? You want to just give her straight up hit points, Duke? You're like cure, cure wounds. Yes. Yeah. Cure so uh, I'm just gonna run up to Vestrin and okay. throw my cure wounds okay. uh, spell. So you like push through everybody. Everybody's like just in shock and awe, and you put your hands on Vestrin that's halfway in the map of this chest. And what does this, it look like? He's gotta grab her foot. Fucking epic, make it sound so cool. <laughs> 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 you, you've got six seconds, bud. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you run for two seconds and sing for four seconds. <laughs> uh, go ahead and uh, roll, roll the HP, which I think is a D8 plus something. Uh, uh, well, he gets lots of bonuses from the healing. Yeah, the for being a cleric, too. right? A life cleric. Life. So, oh, okay. It's D8 plus it something plus something else. Yeah. Uh, a creature you touch regains a number of hit points equal to 1D8 plus your spell casting ability modifier. So that and you add, But you add your level to that, too, though. No, you add 2 plus experience yeah, level, back. so... So we'll add four more to that. Yeah, so it'd be that plus... plus uh, it's wisdom. two plus the spell's level. So nice. what, what, this is a level one, right? Level Can one spell? Uh, no, yeah. yeah, so it's plus whatever you roll, plus Unless another three. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever... Oh, so D8 plus three plus your wisdom bonus, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, wisdom is... Yeah. Right? <laughs> four. <laughs> four. Okay, so D8 plus seven. Yes. Yeah, okay, so D8 plus 7. Okay, here we go. Oof, you barely bring this motherfucker back from the verge. 7. 14. 14. Yeah, all right, best friend, you go back to 14. So you back up to full HP. <laughs> so you like... <laughs> Right now. Do you, hey, Vester, is there like a specific god you worship, like a god of trickery Bahamut. or thievery? What? Bahamut. Do you remember? Bahamut. Uh, Bahamut. Bahamut. Uh, somebody help me, Bahamut. Uh, dragon. dragon god of trickery. Oh, yeah, with the, the multiple heads so, and all that. That's Tiamat. Yeah, oh, that's Bahamut. a good dragon. Yeah. I'm gonna Bahamut's tell you. a good dragon. I'm so, like, you. So, so in D&D, it's understood that there's, like, heavens, and, and when you die, you go to that place. So, like, you get chomped, and immediately everything goes black, and there's, like, a moment where it's, like, all silent for you. And Bahamut is like at the other end of a tunnel, and you're like, it's like walking towards you, and you're like seeing this light, and then you hear this obnoxious song, this like, (laughs) (laughs) and you like you turn back, and there's another light behind you, and the light is shooting at you, and suddenly you get smacked in the face by this light, and you open your eyes, and to your left is the, the tiny halfling that is Funkin' healing you. And to your right is a chest eating you. And whose turn is it? After Funkin'. After Funkin', it's Vestrin. Vestrin! <laughs> you just came back to life. What do you do? You're halfway oh, out. Oh, fucking kill that motherfucker! <laughs> All right, you're going to stab him with your short sword, I assume. Yeah! All right, uh, give me your attack roll to stab the shit out of it. Please, 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 something, anything. Seven plus... Six. Oh, six four. Six, four, no. four, seven, eight, nine, eight, 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 so you like sink it into the wood, thunk, and uh, you're like jabbing it into the wood, and nothing happens. And it continues to try and chew on you. Who's up? Walker. Walker. Oh, yeah. Pull out my big gun. You better walk that motherfucker into the afterlife, please. Oh my god, I can't believe you survived. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Walker, neither. Oh, right. my angel. Walker, what you got for us? Wow. My healers are so important. All right. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Protect Funk First, your life. First is. <laughs> 15? 15 to hit? Yeah. Yes. Alright. Wait, let me just roll just in case. Okay. Uh, 15 to hit, so I... Sh- Big gun! Oh, yeah. It, it pop and let it And then uh, I, it does... Mm, 7 plus... 2... 9 damage. Very nice. Thank you. So you're like 10 feet away. You're like right there. Almost point blank. And you're just like... 
Yeah. yeah, and there's like a oh. like a ripple effect out of him, and you all feel like the echo of the gun as it shoots uh, and echoes through the cavern. All right, we got Max. Is there how much space is behind the mimic to the wall? Uh, it's like up against the wall. It's probably two or three feet at the most. Never mind. Yeah. All right. I will just run up and hit it cool. with my sword. Oh, Max is going to attack instead of tip yeah, the dodge. Yeah, well, because there's other people that can strike. So. Yeah. So yeah, you you flip your sword at it. Let's see what you got. Fuck it. No. Eleven to hit. Nope. I will. Shite. Oh. Action surge and try again. All right. You take a deep breath, and within six seconds, you find the power to swing twice. Fifteen. Nice. Ooh. Cool. You deal eight points of damage. Cool. Uh, you sink it in, and, and some of the wood splinters off as we go back to... Althea. Alright, Althea, you're up. So you all are standing, like, just circled around Vestron's body that is, like, you're, like, stabbing at it, but you're prone, and you're, like, being eaten by it, and, and Althea... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're just watching this cat being eaten by a, a chest that is alive. What do you do? Oh, Next time. Kind of kill. <laughs> Should have done it this round. Oh. <laughs> Fucking my backstory is too heavy for me to die now. <clears throat> I want to hit it with my quarterstaff. Okay. Are you going to make your attack with the quarterstaff? I would say set it on fire. But like you are proficient. Set it. No. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you hit it and it bounces off. Okay. But I like fall back. I'm about to die, y'all. All right. The uh, rubber. You are still within the grasp of this thing, so it's still biting at you with fuck, advantage. Fuck. Uh, so, because you're a grapple, it, it bites once with advantage on you, uh, and that is an unnatural or unmodified 20. Modified unmodified. 20. Uh, unmodified, unmodified 20, modified. which definitely modified. hits you. And you're going to take the piercing damage again. Forget about that. Uh, that's fine. Uh, and the acid damage, yeah? Here we go. <sighs> you take 11 damage. Oh. From the acid Still and the up. piercing. So that leaves me. This is what Clarice was for. So Vestern goes down to two and. And it's uh, fucking turn again. Pumpkin, you, uh, dog. Just keep healing me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they're like, just stay with me. Keep me alive. <laughs> that runs out pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm down the one healing everybody, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Save it to life. Save it to life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think, I think it calls. I think it calls. You say anything else? I think we should do it. We should do it. Well, I the, command you to do it. Well, <laughs> well, I have the prayer of healing, which heals up to six creatures. So I don't want to keep that. Don't worry. Yeah. Wait until it knocks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit with the guiding bolt. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Give me your attack with guiding bolt. Uh, because you're standing so close to it, it's a ranged attack. You do have disadvantage. Okay. Because you're within five feet. Okay, so... What's the thing here? <laughs> <laughs> Natural yeah, yes. so yes. You're like super close to it, and it's like moving around and biting on Vester, and you fire at it, and it just like barely misses and splashes against the wall. Well, that was a... Nice <laughs> piece of that. Alright, Vester, and Vester, 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 just so you know, you can make an attack, or you can take your turn to try to break this grapple and climb away from it. Oh, so I'm going to do that, that shit. That is more necessary. Right, then you you will make an athletics. Roll your athletics. Cool. What was your roll? Four. No. All right, yeah. Wait, you, you, you can still roll the... the you could roll a one on yeah. his opposed athletics check. Oh, no, this is just an escape DC. Oh, oh so just have flat? Yeah, yeah, okay. the DC. Well, so, well, yeah, well, with well. that, you... You take the turn, you drop the short sword right next to you, and you try to pull out of its teeth, and it just holds on to you. Alright, cool. walk us. I'm gonna die. Guys. Walk it, you up. <laughs> well, I guess it's still out. Yeah. Take another shot. Alright, from over the shoulder of Funkin. Alright, that. You kill it. Uh, <clears throat> that one hits, that was a 16, but yeah. let me see if I. Okay, no, 16. Uh, and uh, kill I. Kill it, please. Two. Two, six damage. Alright, he's looking kind of low. I'm yeah, shaking. Looking gross. Looking rough. Alright, Max. Uh, Max Look at drops a sword at his side, pulls out a certain little potion, oh. and jabs it at the mimic. 
<laughs> oh, the portion of form? Yeah, yeah. That is correct. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, then we're going to make a... Con- we're just going to poke him with it. We're going to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> After all, this is still like fighting a best friend just like stuck to him. I'm praying to God. <laughs> I mean, it swallows anything you put near it, so it should just eat the thing. <laughs> let's see, let's see. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh, my Holy shit. Oh, what if you miss? It, it hits the DC exactly. exactly. <gasps> I have some mitten. There's a saving throw for a potion? Well, to to withstand the effects of the potion, right? It's got like a constitution saving throw. Yeah. It eats everything. Well, how do you feel about it? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to I'd like to converse with you. I about think it, it doesn't get sick. Maybe yeah. it doesn't say it rot as long, but I think it should definitely it. turn into rot. Okay, yeah. Okay, then I'm definitely fine with that. Yeah. So Max shoves the potion into its mouth, uh, and yeah. Go for it. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> shove the, <laughs> the potion uh, into its open mouth and uh, it turns into a frog. You see a little frog. And it's just like biting my, fur, my yeah, little finger. Yeah, like, just like hanging off of Vestrin's finger. There's a little frog. And um, on the ground there where the mimic had been um, we see a little bag of gold uh, and some notes in a, in a notebook. Mm-hmm. I think I'm actually too fucking proud to bother with the gold. Like a I snatch. I snatch. No, I immediately um, grab the notes and stuff like that. My yeah, yeah. So there's a there's a bag of gold. There's some notes and there's also a scroll. And yeah, the scroll. I pick up my sword and I, just, I stay I ready the on the frog in case it doesn't stick. Oh, hey, so while I'm bleeding, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there and cry a lot because I frog die. Off your Get the frog off your finger. Boom. No. You. <laughs> Do you throw it? I'm gonna throw that bitch into the sun! Alright, you throw it against oh the wall God. and it takes damage and becomes a mimic again. Yeah. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh no! You throw it against the wall. Well, uh, give me a d6. It's uh, a wild shoot. Give me a, just a d6 for bludgeoning damage. How, how much health does the frog have? That doesn't make sense. You can get no, a. Uh, Yes, you can. That's how this works. That's that is it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's you, over there, and I'm over here. Yeah, yeah, you take damage. Yeah, yeah. It transforms. So it takes five. Uh, it takes seven damage. Just like Wild Shape, uh, the much, frog removes hit points and reverts back to its. Yeah. Uh, you can at least step. Uh, on yeah. How much HP so. does the frog have? It was so like, funny. Wild Shape. Uh, one. Because if I step on it and it doesn't die, then I lose my leg. So what did it have before? This is so fucked up. I'm traumatized, y'all. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing about Wild Shape. If you, she rolls damage for the frog from hitting the wall, it, it rolls over. over. Yeah, yeah. So it did take some damage. It okay. Took, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So you throw it against the wall, but Waka has already picked up the coin purse and the notes and the scroll. Uh, and the. Uh, I'll say I got the coin purse. <laughs> And it like turns back into a. a it's back because I was reading it. I was on it. Okay, your ready to action goes off, Max. Give me your attack. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Yes. Yes. So while I'm nursing my arm, that almost fell off. Five damage. Okay. Did a bad thing. And then I move to be in between anybody else in it. Got it. Yeah. So you move between it. Um, we go back to the top of the round with nothing. You're up. It became it became a frog and then instantly became a chest. <laughs> I just kind of stand there bewildered, like head, head tilted to the side. What the so fuck is happening? All right, yeah. and then yeah. it did get her free though. I, <clears throat> I acid splash. It. Cool. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so for acid splash, that's I the save. That is a dexterity saving throw. What's your spell save DC? Fourteen. All right. Uh, all right, uh, it fails. Uh, so you splash acid against it, but nothing seems to happen. It fizzes and burns, but it seems completely unaffected by it. Well, oh, that's not good. That's why. So at least now we know. Yeah. All right, now it's the mimic. Cool. Uh, the mimic uh, goes ahead and, and reaches out at uh, at Max. Uh, AC nineteen. AC nineteen, and it has a single attack against you. Uh, it gets a natural 17, plus 5, so it hits you. Ooh. You're going to take... <laughs> 20. Oh. So you'll take D8 piercing and D8 acid. Plus okay. Eight. What's the piercing? So the piercing is going to be, um... 5. 2. And then the acid is 3. Uh, so you took 5 damage overall. Okay. 
as it bites into you, and, like into your leg, and you take a little bit of damage. Who's up? All good. Uh, Funkin, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when the chest? No, he's good, Funkin. Thank you for saving my life. I owe you nothing. I want to do sacred flame, <laughs> but I don't know if that's actually gonna. Yeah, it's a dexterity saving. Is it a cantrip? Yeah, you can just. Just do it at will. Yep. You can do it as much as you need to. Okay. Yeah. What's your uh, uh, spell save DC? Oh, I got a natural opponent. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> boom. It splashes against it with no fat. Esther, what you gonna do? So first, you know that scene in the Avengers where the Hulk picks up Loki and fucking smashes him around and then he leaves him in the ground? I'm doing that. Like, I'm just... Oh. And then I get up. And uh, I'm gonna get as far away as possible from this fucking thing. In this okay. Which is like five feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ten, ten feet. Yeah. Ten feet. It's ten not feet that far. Yeah. We're in a tiny okay. little room. So I'm gonna go ten feet away from it. Yep. And I'm gonna ready my bow. A okay. short bow. And I'm just you gonna. You're gonna D20 plus uh, four. This is yeah. that one, right? Yes. Yep. No, just this one. Hmm. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> ha! Yeah, and that's roll two. your advanced sneak dice. Then yeah. You rolled two d six. Two plus one. Three plus three, three four plus four. No, plus, no, plus two. two. Sorry. Plus two. Five. So five damage. Sneak and arrow sinks yeah, into the mimic. It's looking real fucked up. Walk Good. Walker, you up? I'm shaking and crying, y'all. <laughs> Alright. That is 16. Yep. No, 15. 15. And then. uh, 1 plus 5, 6, 8. 8 points of damage. Oh, it's looking real for her. Alright, Max, please. What you gonna do, Max? Keep smacking. Smack away. Headbutt him. What you gonna do? Not this time. Oof. What is it? It's a, it's a big whiff. Oh, oh yeah. Against the wall. <laughs> okay, you're up. Um, I will bonus action. Go ahead and do my second win. Yeah, yeah do that. Let's go ahead and heal yourself a bit. Might uh, as well. Althea, your acid splashed against it and did absolutely nothing. What is your plan this time? Immediately, with the other hand, shoot another acid splash. It, the, acid, the, hand you used. the acid splash seemed to do absolutely no damage, nothing. even though it did hit. Hey, remember when that thing hit, hit me with acid? It, it's immune to acid. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 you, you, you absolutely <laughs> hit it last time. And it it no words. <laughs> Go back to the ring. Even if we put on that one. In a you didn't do anything with Frost either. Oh, you, you did some damage to it. Okay, well, I can do something that. like that. Cool. Hey, Alright, give me your attack with your ray from me. <laughs> what? Oh, that, that is your point. Never mind. Sorry. 22. Yep. I was almost dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was good for the first time. Alright, uh, roll your damage for the Frey Frost. DA? Yep. Yeah. What's the flat DA? 8. Damage? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Alright. So it splashes against it and the wood starts to hang in and it's like limp and, and hanging but it's like barely alive. Like when you got your tooth falling out, and there's literally one little string left. Oh, uh, who's that? All right, all right it uh, bites into you again, Max. Its teeth are hanging. Uh, and it gets a 13, so it misses. No, it bites against your, your armor and misses. So who's turn? Funkin. Funkin' you up. Okay. Give me two. Uh, I'm gonna get out my mace. Cool. All right, swing your mace. It was so embarrassing. Oh, right. It is looking so fucked up, Funkin'. So fucked up. Uh, 13 plus. What am I looking at? Mace plus 5. Oh, 13 plus 5. 18. 18. That does it. Okay, so. D6 plus 3. You were so close. You did it! <laughs> <laughs> Funkin! And more. Sinks his, his mace into it. <laughs> and the mimic shatters into woodly pieces, and it goes silent yet again in the secret corridor. And you all look over at Waka, who is holding like a big leather bag, 
uh, and like under his arm and like a scroll and all I, I sit down <clears throat> I open up the scroll what is the scroll uh, so you still have detect magic right yeah yeah. Uh, oh, so I, is, well, detect magic is different from identify. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is uh, it's pretty obvious like what a, it is based on. Oh yeah, it's, like, it's got like it's it's definitely got a spell in it. Wait, it tells me the school. Of magic. Yeah, so I'm I'm looking that up right now. I can tell you the school of magic in just a moment. Does anybody have anything to say in the meantime? Uh, I know I I do say this is a this is a magic scroll, and I feel out of all of us. You could use it, and I pass it to Althea. Uh, it's an evocation hey. magic. All right. Seems to be pretty damaging. I think you could put it in that book of yours. So thank you so much, Paul. Uh, I count the gold. So How much gold? Already? How are you feeling? Uh, fifteen. Uh, so inside the leather pouch is fifteen silver morts and twenty-nine copper morts. All right, fifteen silver morts. Uh, I uh, let's see. I pass. I pass. Seven silver morts to uh, Bestrum. Bestrum, because I feel like you're you're the person who wants the who, who cares the most about money aside from me. I I don't want them. You can have them. Oh, oh I much appreciate. How many how many uh, how many silver morts? There's like seven of them. Right? Seven silver morts. Uh, fifteen silver, twenty nine copper. So that's. Well, yeah, just write it down for now. Yeah, figure it no, out. No, I was just trying to write it down. Oh, yeah, yeah, 15 silver, 29 copper, and then, uh, yeah, so you defeat it, you kind of, like, step back up your the illusory wall. Can we, can, can we chill for, like, an hour in this nice little hidden... Can we talk about what fucking happened? Yeah. <laughs> ...place that has a secret wall that nothing would really wander into accidentally? We yeah. Could, we can just take a quick rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you can an take hour. an hour. Uh, can I study, can I, for my short rest, can I, like, study the... How much... The mimic? Yes. yes. Well, the mimic is like crushed into pieces. I know, but there's still like bits. Inside. There's bits of it, yeah. And you also have like all those like the, no, the notebook acid. and the notes. It, it, does it have like teeth and like a tongue and stuff like that? Um, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how mimics work. Yeah. Then no, know. that's exactly why Waka's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can study that for the hour. Of that, uh, uh, I'll tell you, I don't know why I mix you up so much. I'll tell you, you can study that the scroll for an hour. Anybody else doing anything? I'm gonna chill to get my axe and surgeon second wind back. Yeah, well, what, you what can I'm spend help, hit help, dice, you help, hit yes. dice to heal yourself. Yes, you have what d6? So you should have yeah. two of them. You can roll, yeah. Yeah. and you'll add your level for each roll. Two. Three. Plus, um, we're, we're level two now. Five plus level two. Uh, plus your plus your con bonus. What's your con bonus? Was probably zero, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. So so but you have your level, so five plus four, you get nine. Uh, this is a scroll of magic missile. Oh, wow! Yeah, to which you can uh, add. Copy uh, into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you can copy it into your spell. Though. I think it's like 15 gold or whatever. Yeah, so it's going to cost you money to, to copy it and all that, so we can figure that out here at the end of the, uh, end of the campaign. In your downtime. Yeah, but for now, you do have a, you have a scroll of magic missile that you can add. Um, Waka, yeah, this is like a really interesting. Is it level one or two? Beast. One. Uh, it's a level one spell. It's good when you really want to hit things because they, they they always hit. No, is no it tactile, prepared? Just hits. What? No, you, you is can't. That it's just a scroll at this point. Yeah, you haven't learned it yet. You can copy it into your spell spellbook later when we have downtime, yeah. and then you'll be able to so memorize it. So you can't really use it at the moment. Yeah. And I wouldn't recommend using it because you want to copy it. Yeah. You um, could cast yeah. This was like a monstrosity, <laughs> right? This was a creature brought to life by strange magics uh, and imbued with certain powerful magics, probably with the intention of protecting whatever was within the chest itself. Uh, and it was just the scroll and the gold, right? The scroll, the gold, and a bunch of like scrawlings of like notes. Ooh, and, and yeah. I, like if I have the notes and I've been looking through the notes. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, um, so yeah, yeah. Give me um, a history check as you read through the notes here. Um, to take advantage from help. I'm trained in history. So oh, I'm trained in history as well, so I'll work on that with you. <laughs> yeah, we are not having a good time. I, so yeah, I'm too tired. Yeah, bring it up. Yeah, <laughs> that was uh, nine total. Nine no, total no, wait, with three, advantage. Nine total. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you've never heard of it before. You've never heard of these things. And maybe when you converse with the party, somebody might have heard of it. 
Uh, but first of all, these are the scrawlings of a magician, a, a mage, a wizard, who has been studying a an extremely rare species of creature called the Collectors. This person has been hiding their magic away for a long time because if the, and you see it in the scrawlings, if the Bureau of the Five Magi or the Council of Elders sees my, uh, my experience and my research, they will take it away from me and, and make it their own. Does the handwriting seem familiar? It doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you've, you've never heard of the collectors before. But this person has been tracking the, these, these creatures called the collectors. Uh, they, they know uh, one thing in particular about a specific collector. Collectors? Yes. Uh, what they talk about uh, in, in their, like, several pages of research is at the end of the day, the collectors were amongst the very first and the most powerful elven mages, right? Well, like at the birth of the material plane. These mages uh, and their unending thirst for power, they, they dabbled with extraplanar magics beyond their control. Within the research you read that ultimately okay. their dabbling with extraplanar magic trapped them in a plane called the Far Realm. Uh -huh. And because of this, because it exists outside the standard cosmology. Nobody's ever really understood what it is. They just know that the far realm within it exists uh, a plane of madness, right? A twisting plane that, that is ever-changing, that, that, uh, that only really breeds gruesome monsters. All, all that this person has in their research at the end of the day is that the collectors, right, these mages, accidentally got sucked there and were driven mad, were driven insane and that they eventually found a way back into the material plane, and that they have been a plague on the material plane ever since. Uh, one in particular this person has been studying is the portrait collector. This long, gangly, pale creature collects and traps creatures within portraits. Uh, they're not sure what they do with it, and they're not sure where it is. It's somewhere on the Phallus of Fen. But they know that there is an undisclosed amount of collectors. There could be any amount. But they are evil, they are conniving, they are chaotic, and they only serve to destroy and consume all life. Uh, and this person had begun uh, kind of like the very first steps of trying to learn about this organization of the collection. I, I keep the notes in my bag. And, and you can read more into yeah. it, uh, about it, uh, but yeah, you, you learn for the first time about like these, these creatures that, that came from a far realm, that came back and have been alive like since the birth of the material plane, have been alive for, for hundreds of centuries. So I imagine I, you read this all out loud to us. I don't know, I, I, no, I keep, it, I keep the notes to myself. Are you fucking kidding me? No, but I say something like, no, this is some mentioned something about collectors, uh, some crazy people roaming around town, some, this guy was into some weird shit, and then like, what I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put it in my bag, I'll get back to you when I can decipher more of these notes, cause I, I can't really get a grasp on them, uh, on their entirety, right now. Wait, so let's move on, shall we? Yes. Hmm? Where did it go? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, um, okay. you know, with with time in mind, uh, do you, like do you continue north and around? Um, uh, well, with the map, you would know that if you continued north and around, it would take you back to the entrance where you could go back out, or you could continue south to um, go back past where you came up. Yeah, back through the hole to like another separate uh, no, entrance area. Is there another anywhere on the map that looks like a pocket? Like where people yeah, went. there are three other pockets. There's a pocket very near the hole where you climbed up, and the two other pockets that are to the like the northeast of the entrance. All right, we'll go to the one close to the hole yeah. first. All right, oh. wherever you guys want to go. All right, uh, you get around there, uh, and you come all the way like back through the hole and around, uh, and you get to like a choke point where there seems to have been a cave in, and there's like a bunch of rocks in the way. Uh, ordinarily, I would make a joke. So it's like a dead end. No, I am. 
Oh, How well, bad of a cave in, like? Uh, a cave in that you could you could probably like move rocks out of the way. It's just to be able wall. to see what's there. Yeah. All right, yeah. we'll dig out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whoever's digging, go and give me a perception check to like peer through a tiny hole. Twelve. Disadvantage because you're exhausted. Twelve. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. You see. A really gruesome sight. It's like really gross and unfortunate. Uh, there's there's a body, uh, and it seems that the body is, is hanging by a rope from a stalactite. They seem to have uh, like hung themselves, hang themselves. Is oh, there any or, sign of any yeah. movement or anything like that? Uh, the the body maybe is like moving ever so slightly. Like maybe there's like wind or something in there. It's swinging. Else? There's like just a, a like a, a desk in there and a lamp that has since burnt out and a body that, that is hanging from the roof. Left oh, that's. Uh. Okay, so looks like somebody got hanged it in there, be. and there's a desk, maybe some notes that you might want to check out. All right. Uh, there's there's dead body. How's his head looking? How's the head? How was how was the head looking? How's the head of the body? Oh, so yeah, you peer in, and it's like a fully intact body. It looks all right. Can I? Uh, I a very okay. pale, very veiny, and gross. Yeah, it's an intact body. Dead. If but. if we go in there to investigate, that well, you know how this area. You you, you live in here. We got to smash it. You think it's gonna wake up? Yeah. But where is it going to go? Shoot with your ray thingy through the little hole. Rope. Shoot it with the ray thing. See what happens. If it moves, then we'll know it's undead. Go ahead and zap it right now. All right, what are you zapping it with? Just a little tiny ray of frost. Okay, yeah, right, give me an hole. attack against the, uh, the hanging body. <coughs> wow, this is going to be really scary or really gross. 21? Cool, 21 is a hit. Oh, yeah. That does it. Against the body. Roll your D8. Roll your D8. Two. Two damage. Okay. Oh. So it. Whoosh, uh, you stick your hand in and it splashes ice against the body, which instantly shakes and then immediately veiny eyes oh. open. Okay, it's alive. Oh, and I'm hands sorry. open. Yeah. And immediately it's just like. Oh. And it's like reaching out and this like hanging zombie is like reaching out to you. Well, no, 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 no. They're, they're, on, they're on the other side of the, uh... The, there's a hole this big. Yeah. can't really yeah. get to us. <laughs> and it's hanging, so it can't really attack anyways. Just keep zapping until it stops okay. moving. So it's... <laughs> she got unlimited things. I just, just do it zap, since zap, there's no zap, zap. Freeze it till it turns zap. into a pink zap. zap. <laughs> so you, you can zap ad infinitum, uh, probably yeah, until the zombie yeah. dies. Yeah, I do that. I do kind of like this Gohan thing. I'm just like... <laughs> For good measure, I fire an arrow at it. So what's my rate of ray of frost per second? Uh, every six seconds, I Once guess. Once every six. Frost. Yeah, yeah. So you just like... So Althea's just like... Until the, the I mean, zombie just turns into a block of ice. Duncan can join in with some... Sacred, sacred flames, flames through there. There we go, yeah. yeah. Uh, fire and ice! I, uh, until eventually the zombie just stops moving. Okay, can, can I, I think it's dead, dead. All right. I think I'm like the only one that can fit, so can I go through the hole? Sure. Yeah, well, yeah. we'll have to well, wind it out. Yeah, yeah, you you all mine it a little bit, and yeah. fucking, you squeeze yourself and roll yeah. in there. Yeah. And now yeah. there's, like there's like a dead hanging body. Walk yeah. in, do you want to go I, in? I, I, I just say, hey, just look for any notes and things. Like, I'm not going to go in there. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I could, but Punk is already in. I look up at the the icicle and I'm like, hello. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> He's dead. Yeah, and, and it's like just creaking back and desk. forth. And uh, yeah, the only thing in there aside from that is like a knocked over lantern and a desk with some some parts. Uh, can I take the lantern too? You can you can take the lantern. Yeah, it's like a regular lantern. It's not hooded by any means. Uh, it's still a lantern. Uh, definitely oh, no. worth something. There's probably no oil in it though. So. Yeah, yeah, it's not over. over. It seems to have yeah. burnt out. Okay, uh, but on the desk, uh, you do see a piece of parchment. And okay. as you look at it, um, well, give me a perception check just as you like land in the room. Because okay. that's something to... Uh, what is that? D20 plus... We'll get out of here. <laughs> so it's a natural that's 20. 
Nice. Plus four. Yeah, so you you like roll into there and you look up and you're like hello and you look around <laughs> and there's like uh, well the first thing you notice are the hands of the zombie and its mm. fingernails are like all peeled back and bloody and against the walls and against the like caved in rock uh, is just like scratch marks and blood and bits of fingernail mm. as if this person like helplessly scratched against yeah. the wall and like scratched their fingernails away so it's like. Like, really a desperate, like, sad emotion that you get in here. Um, and then you, like, look over and, like, look at the parchment that has just, like, streaks of blood all over it. Uh, there was nothing to write with. So this person yeah. seems to have written with their finger blood. Um, and you see, like, just, like, written diagonally and upside down and horizontal and across and all over this parchment. You see uh, stuff such as, like, the voice. The rocks themselves speak. They speak of great pain. Uh, and then another one that says, I didn't do it. I can't help you. And another one that says, in my head, get out. Mine, it's my head, my thoughts. I can't think, not with the noises. The rocks themselves speak. Uh, and then another one that says, the eye. Where's the eye? Uh, and just all these like, like random scribblings of this madman who is, uh, now that you have already speak, spoken to Grime, uh, probably the, the like rumblings of Grime, ask, uh, Grime asking where his eye is and mm -hmm. stuff like that that drove this man mad and eventually drove him to, to suicide. Uh, yeah. So that's like that's what you read on, on the parchment, written in his finger blood. Oh, well, Funk, can you relay that to us in a way that like sounds like a person? <laughs> I'm Rick Grime, bitch. I don't know what... Yeah, it's the only Funk Yeah, do we, know, do we know how the guy that we were looking for looked like? Uh, yeah, yeah, so you know that he was, like, trapped in a... So is this the guy? Yeah, he, he was trapped in a cave then, uh, and he looks very similar to... This is the guy that was trapped in the cave then, yeah. Uh, he, uh, he was well, thrown to madness by... by we double dead it in. We can go report that back. Yeah. It's time to go back to the Tsar. Uh, can I take the parchment paper with me? Yeah, you can, okay. so you can roll it up and take it with you. Let's fucking parchment. We're we're done here. Yeah, so you can add like bloody parchment <laughs> notes or something like that. Cool. Uh, yeah, you would like I, I don't know like I guess Funkin like climbs back out with a sullen look on his face or something of that nature. Some bloody paper. What what is what does this do to you? Funkin? There are some things that you cannot I, do. I just don't say anything. I show the parchment paper, but I just don't. Yeah, so you all see anything. all like the scribblings and all that on it. Ooh, this is such a dark uh, fucking trip we went on. I almost died twice. I saw God. We've got the map, right? Let's, yeah. We're good here. Let's, yeah, so yeah, you, let's you, you take the map back out uh, and up. That's fine. And the, the, the guards maybe take a moment to be like, Did you find anything? Uh, yeah. Uh, too much. Yeah. Guys, the, he's, he's gone. Oh, yeah. He didn't survive. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. We did nice. find out what was causing the issue. Oh, <gasps> good! The, the mine is kind The mine of, is alive. Yeah, the well, mine is alive. There is yeah. a great, um, Greater elemental. elemental. Oh, the that's mine, good. Yeah. Yeah, it's long enough to go in there again. Yeah, cool. the only thing that will satisfy it is, uh, a big diamond. Apparently you guys pulled it out. Oh, yes, it was taken by the, the miners, uh, gifted to Craig, because, it, I mean, technically, he owns the mines, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna go talk to Craig that. about that. Oh, hey, be careful. He grew up in royalty, and he's a bit of a snob. He's a rat. <laughs> The door opens into this opulent entryway that has like two parallel staircases that are made of granite that lead up to like a balcony up in the center of the room. And in the middle of the room on the floor, uh, underneath this like, um, like pilf, uh, this, this like, um, I don't know, what do you call it? Like a stand, I guess, like some kind of stand. Uh, is this giant fucking diamond. Oh. And all the lights are hitting at it. It's the centerpiece of this room. Uh, and the guard calls in, Um, the party who took your quest for the salt mines is here, Tsar Craig, to see you. Uh, and, and you hear a voice echo. Ha, ah, dope! Uh, <laughs> and he says, uh, they'll see you now. Uh, and he, he says, careful. 
He's kind of a dick. Uh, and he closes the door, and you all are left in this room with a giant diamond. Uh, so, uh, I just turn it, at least the guards are, like, forthcoming. Like, they just, they're just they not even, like, sure coding it. They just tell them straight yeah. And then you see Where's this, like, guards? this human come around the corner uh, up at the top of the stairs. And this human is, like, pretty short. Yeah, he's probably like five eight, five nine, uh, oh, no. and he comes around. He's got like dirty blonde hair and brown eyes, uh, like a medium build, but is like powdered up and wearing like the most pompous clothing. Uh, and he sits on the banister of one of the granite staircases and slides down the banister and lands in front of you. Uh, so greetings. Might be able to make money in my mind again, or what? All right. Okay. So, what? but there's a. There's a, there's a problem. Yeah, there's a big problem. With that. Hey, did y'all see my dope ass diamond? Yeah. It shines in the That's light. No, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. It's a oh, gentle wow. kiss. That that is the that is the crux of the issue. Uh, turns out your minds are kind of alive. They're and uh, dude, that's like ridiculous. And that diamond over there is the eye of the mind. Yeah, whatever. Hey. Uh, He's like rolling his eyes. If I may beg your pardon, the mines are a giant earth elemental. And when you sent forth your men to dig holes and extract gems, you've extracted... Alright, listen. First of all, this was a gift. Right. The gift is the all-seeing eye of an earth elemental. And the problem with that is that it's his eye. Well, that sounds mm-hmm. like a lot of baloney to me. Now, look, oh, you just no, come here and take my diamond? No, no, look. No. You can, I don't want you, you can... in here if you want to take my diamond. No. I have seen death upon us all! If we do not return this bloody diamond, we will all die! <laughs> He's been through a lot. <laughs> And I will not stand here while you mock my friends! What's this guy's deal? <laughs> he, he's a little. Uh, he, no. He he's just. He's Dunkin' Donuts. Look. Donuts. Alright, alright, look, look. I'm a generous leader. Of course. I'm a good guy, alright? I'm a good guy. I care about my people. Yeah. I, uh, I, I come up and I hand you the bloody parchment paper. This is what you get. Nothing else. Pumpkin. He's gonna completely ignore you. <laughs> you don't even, he's like, what was that? Of course I, I take the bloody right, parchment and hand it to Waka. I'll take that hundred gold. I give him hundred gold. Okay. okay. Thanks. I tried. All right, whatever. You, you can take the diamond no. as long as this is gonna make my mind okay again, that right? Good. I can make my money. We can we can be uh, pulling the salt out. If Thank the you. diamond is the end of the quest. And if they've completed it, the quest was worth a hundred gold. <laughs> so once they take the diamond and it's the end of the quest, then he will he will pay them for taking. Well, he the doesn't diamond. do it. His assistant. Yeah. Okay. True. <laughs> true, true, true. That's like, really funny. All right. Well, thanks for the stuff, dudes. Good luck. And then he's gonna go back nice. upstairs. And he sits on. <laughs> you don't know how he does it, but he's so okay. cool that he sits he on sits the on the bottom of the banister slides and up. slides back up the banister. <laughs> Uh, and gets up and walks away. Of course he does. Yeah, and the, and then around the same time, the like giant ten foot wooden door uh, opens back up, and he's like, uh, "How'd it go? Pretty we good. Do, yeah. We need to make do arrangements for someone to elephant? bring this diamond back to the mine." Yeah. Oh, uh, to be honest, I don't know how it got here. So if you want to just take it, you can. Uh, tell, oh. tell us how. Uh, uh, hey, okay. do, you allow, do you allow ponies and carts in here? No! Oh, well, I guess if you're taking the diamond, we can make an exception. Can right. sit on the side and just roll it? Yeah, you can just roll it out. Roll it's it like, on out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We put it on the back of the cart. cart. Oh, us. and I've been instructed by Zog Craig that since you all are finishing this for the most part, is is this, are you done? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, here. And he hands you a hundred gold. <laughs> Guys, are we cool if we're no, keeping no, no. this? Yeah, 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 you just spent on... Thanks. I don't care. <laughs> How was it? Was he alright? Now he's a fucking pile of shit. It's okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. Hey, hey, that's... Hey. He did give this he, up for the sake Did he get that banister from the capital? Um, 
He's just this, kind of a dick. I mean, the... Is the town the hall was well. The town hall was built by the Capitol, so who oh, knows? Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. He's the reason I sound like I'm prepubescent. I'm 45. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he give you like a good? I just gave him. A... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he like nods at you, and you roll down the stairs and into the wagon of Billy Bob, and you all. And like, look, oh, I, don't like, I put my hand on the fucking day. shoulder. Look. If you ever need anybody to talk it out with, I'm here for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm familiar with death. Uh, hey. You've been through a lot. Car ride, walk back to yeah. the So you're consoling so. fucking go nuts. But I died. Twice. And, and nobody you, said. You went unconscious. <laughs> fuck you guys. You, know, you went unconscious. Okay, to be fair, Funkin's a lot more emotionally unstable than you, so I think you should take that as a compliment. And <laughs> also, Dude, also not, things are still awful. You didn't die. die. <laughs> I saw God! Whatever. What? Your God. <laughs> uh, this is a conversation that's that happens not an hour and a half thing. on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, 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 look. My arm is almost <laughs> gone! <laughs> your, your arm is fine, it's right yeah, there. Yeah, like, Vestron probably has, like, permanent scars so from... You were, you were like literally one roll away from death, like permanent death. So, so, so you, you got like a nice spark bite mark? Do you, yeah. do you I know how much I've been chewed on by freaking everything? Fine. I'm not even... <laughs> well, so you all arrive back at the Salt Part Salt Mines at 3.30ish p.m. Thank you. Uh, and you can go back in uh, and like hoist the document. You're just going to... It's gonna drop yeah. you down. I mean, it can't so break. So, yeah. so you you like drop it down the hole, and it like drops all two levels, and boom. Yeah. Uh, and you all climb down into all the two levels. What? Yeah. Uh, and you all make it down. Roll it back up the path. To yep. The so yeah. like uh, to the northeast, you all like roll it back up. Of course. It gets to the point where there's like three feet across, so you're gonna have to like shove the diamond through. Go and give me an athletics. You are no longer exhausted. Yay! Seven. Well, twenty-two. Yeah. yeah. So you shove you shove the diamond through, and then you get stuck. So give me your athletics to shove yourself through. Uh, oh no! Not one. Oh. Uh, so like you shove the diamond through Someone and fall. Him. I, uh, and and instantly Max just gets stuck and he can't. Uh, can somebody at all. help me push? I've got it. Okay, uh, I, I'm yeah. like wedged all kinds. So of ways. if uh, yeah. since you're helping Waka, he just gets. Yeah, it you're there. just helping. Uh, oh, so. <laughs> can I say that I helped? Yeah. So Vester, give me your athletics with advantage then, so you can roll twice okay. and take the highest. That negative two. That one, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Seven. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, like you're pushing Max. So it's the diamond, Max is stuck, and you're shoving Ma- Max, and he's not coming out. Alright, can I just karate chop the fucking salt around him to just like mine it out? No. Uh, it's yeah. like really yeah. thick stuff. Yeah, uh, you might need another okay. miracle to get him through, but yeah, Max uh, just gets stuck. Anybody got a spell the, uh, slippery slope? Thaumaturgy. thaumaturgy. <laughs> Alright, you use your thaumaturgy. Somebody can shove Max one more time with advantage. I like I plug my ears while he casts yeah. off the engine. I yeah. don't. All right, yeah, show it again. Eighteen. All right, give me one more, just in case. Nat twenty, nat twenty, nat twenty one. Okay, yeah. So, so Funkin' oh, and the whole place shakes. Uh, let me see if it holds up. The place does hold up very well, so nothing falls on your head. And it shakes, and some of the rocks break. And Vestrin, you like half, you partially shove and halfly just break. Uh, Max through like some of the the rock, and Max, your face just smacks against the diamond. Oh, f- oh, oh. oh. Yeah. oh sure. Yeah, you take two damage. I do not. So you take heavy damage. armor, master. <laughs> so you smack against <laughs> it, and your 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 armor like dents against it. Yeah, and then everybody else just slips just through the hole. <laughs> You so shove I your way turn it so that it hits the chain mail. Yeah. Okay. And you're good. <laughs> you, sh- you all stick your way through, and after that, it's pretty smooth sailing. You yeah. roll all the way back into the large yeah. cavern. Like, as, no, as we're getting into the cavern, I was like, yeah. I cry, we got a big surprise for you. And a perfect <laughs> diamond sized pocket opens back up, and, it, and you hear, you feel everything shake yeah. again. And he's like, I hope you've brought me my eye. <laughs> and it like sinks in, and then the earth blinks around the eye a couple times as if it like settling a contact. Is this the first, is this the first time you can see us? 
Uh, yeah, I guess so. So, like, for the first time, the eye, like, and you all see, like, a light, almost like a pupil in the center of the diamond. And it blinks a couple times, and it's like, Yeah, hell hey! Oh! And everything shakes, and he's like, You, a tiny lizard brought my eye back. Well, well it was all, all of us. We all collectively. Uh, nice. And uh, the diamond, like, him, moves around on all of you. You're quite a motley crew. Well, you could put it that way, yes. A cat, well, a halfling, a lizard, an elf, a human. Yeah. Uh, well, either way, you all have done me a great service. <laughs> I thank you. And throughout uh, the, the mine, you start to hear like the, the grinding of stone. Uh, and uh, I don't I don't know if, if this is like all occurs in your mind, but at the end of the day, what happens is like the salt golems and the earth elementals start to like go back to their homes as he speaks to you. He says, mm. uh, "It's warm. That's good." Thank you all so much for returning my eye to me. Uh, welcome. Uh, yeah. You you all have done me a great service, and because of that. I would like to return the service. You all seem like worthy adventurers. Am I incorrect? Yes. That's what we are. But I am. Well, Well, holy shit. Ever since (laughs) the (laughs) (laughs) ever since I was trapped here beneath the earth in this grave I now call a home. There's been a small pinch in my cranium. A pain that has not subsided. I was hoping that I could simultaneously solve this problem and gift this to you. And the wall earlier, the perfect wall that like seemed a little like uh, off, off touch, a little out of base there, um, uh, the wall opens. A little bit, and and this this cavern that you're in, that's like ten by ten, opens up to become like ten by like twenty, uh, and in the back is this huge wall of <laughs> shimmering gems. It is filled to the fucking brim with like emeralds and opals and gems and like Vestron, you're just like no, ah. yeah, yeah, like Rich. gems as far as the eye can see. However. In the center of this it is this this like column, and in the center of this column, all the lights and the gems shining on it is this sword sticking out of the center. And Grind says, oh, "This has been jabbed into my cranium since I landed here, and through the hundreds of centuries, my magic and my." gems have crafted it into something of a special item. I beg and offer that you take this please. Uh, And the gems shine even brighter uh, as this sword uh, is is jutting like sideways. Should I just... Okay. The prize is the sword. And the it's gems. the sword, you fool! Oh, no, 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 this is terrifying. Yes, uh, you you rip the sword out, and uh, this is what it looks like. Oh, it's oh. fucking cool! Oh. That's yeah, all, right all there. jagged. So yeah. that is yours now. That is your item. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, and you you uh, retrieve an, uh, a sword unbeknownst to you. Don't flip it over yet. So I, just I, the picture of the sword. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and he says, and like as you remove it, you all feel like a shaking through the cavern, but it's like a pleasant shake this time. And he says, oh. <laughs> That felt fucking awesome. I feel kind of dirty. <laughs> oh, <Nice>. yeah. <laughs> like, I think we just... No. And, uh, uh, Talk about getting your rocks off. The, uh, the, walls, the walls start to close again as you, like, back up. Yeah, they, they close again, and you all, like, back up out of it as it, like, closes, and the shiny gems close themselves to you, and he says, Now. Leave me. And as long as another gem is not taken from these mines, I will lay myself to rest. I will say one last thing. 
big tiny lizard. They, you may or may not get somebody trying to make a deal with you from the local town. They just want salt, though. The salt in these taverns, and these cat damn it, in these caverns, <laughs> laid here long before I fell upon them. They are for the taking of anyone who dares step foot in here. Well, that's just ground, isn't it? But the gems, those are made up of my heart and soul, and they shall not be removed. Got it. Great. Cat. Let's leave. Ah! <laughs> Uh, and with that, the uh, the eye closes on the diamond. You all make your way back through the the caverns, uh, back up through uh, to level one and up to the top level. Yeah, and I was just gonna say, I, like on the way out, I warned the guards. Nobody touches the gem. Nobody touches the gems in there. Not well, even me. All right. Um, why not? Uh, just a question. Oh, if you no. take a gem, it'll come alive and eat you. Oh shit! All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing that happened. It'll That's happen quite again. Scary, Benny. Yeah. Robert, Robert, uh, uh, make a post. Uh, paint a post salt or something about the gems. Make a post. Salt, salt only. only. Salt only. Uh, make a post about the salt only. All right. On Facebook. Wait, do you have parchment? Um. Yes. There you go. And he like puts he puts it down, and they they all like. Start writing on this parchment and all that. Uh, and yeah, a, a notice, a large notice and a warning goes up that's, yeah, that says like salt only. Uh, and Max. <laughs> I got a, I got a sword. You I Max. Max identify. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Max spends like a while with it and identifies cast. Max, go ahead and turn it over and, and read uh, everything on the back of it. Oh, you so we sword. have the Sword of Petrification. The Sword of Petrification shines with a blue crystalline glassiness. Cool. Its eccentric jagged edges point outwards in every direction. At the base of the pommel, a blue crystal sits perfectly within a small cavity. Weapon attacks made with a sword of petrification are considered mm-hmm. magical. Mm-hmm. Yep. Whenever this weapon kills a living thing, the slain creature becomes encased within whatever material is attuned to the blade. Okay. If an attack hits with a natural 20, an opponent must succeed on a player's con save or suffer the petrified condition. A creature can spend one hour bonding a specific type of material to the sword at the DM's discretion. This includes removing the blue crystal at the base and replacing it. All creatures that are killed or petrified are encased within that type of material. Ooh. Yeah. So basically, whenever you kill a creature, uh, because it's made of blue crystal right now, Built when it. you kill a creature, it becomes encased in blue crystal. Oh. But you can replace it. Yeah, so say you replace it with like granite or glass, or and those creatures... Uh, become encased That's in not quite a material. <laughs> However, at the DM's discretion, so I will not let you replace it with gold so you can make gold statues of people and become rich, right? Uh, so, at the, yeah, yeah, at my discretion. But, yeah, now whenever you... Like, so, yeah, with the Sword of Petrification, all, all attacks are magical, and, and whatever creature you kill becomes encased with that. Yeah, put, yeah. put some wood in it, and then just, like... Start if you, if you encase everybody trees. in yeah. glass, I mean, you just shatter them. Yeah. So, uh, cool. so yeah, you have this like new jagged sword at your disposal. Oh my gosh! Can I get to do this whenever we game from now on to signify? <laughs> <laughs> you swing with the sword. Yeah, it's so cute. I love it. Uh, it took me forty-five minutes of Photoshop to get that perfect. Oh. Uh, but yeah, uh, there you go. I did that. I did. I did all of it. Oh, I sent you the image. You sent me the image. <laughs> It took me 45 minutes <laughs> to get the picture itself. And then it took you, uh, however long, how long did it take you to get the actual image? Damn, Zach, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, it was, I'm just talking about, serious this, credit I'm talking about the, the sword itself. Thanks, just Jenna. He Googled the image. I did, uh, like, the This is very cool. And no. Thank you, Jenna. I totally stole that, yeah. Hey, Zach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whatever. You have a sort of petrification now. <laughs> well, you could have said something too. I spent a lot of time fine. I'm not bragging. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very cool sword. Thank so you for playing. I'm very happy that Thanks, I have yeah. a nice, really cool sword. Anyways, uh, you now have permanent access to the Saltport Salt Mines. There is probably a lot more to discover in there that, that you can go whenever you'd like. Uh, but you all make your way back to the ta- uh, back to the tavern, and old, uh, you know, uh, the 
catfish johnnies. With I'm going John. to get as drunk as possible as soon as possible. And uh, I think we'll end it there. Uh, you all like wh- like Sounds the door like slams open. <laughs> Max holding his brand new sort of petrification, uh, and the uh, and with, like the credits hit. And he walks directly to the Craigslist board and starts to look. Yes, perfect. Mm-hmm.